welcome to the Arizona BAT BDR. Oh, they got here, man, I'm telling you. But I feel like I'm officially starting the trail, and uh, I'm excited, guys. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this elevation possibly. Not that bad. It might be in the 90s. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll meet you guys up there. Okay, I'm not doing it. That's a long way up there. Oh, let's go read this sign while I'm here. And I just don't want to get that far away from the bike. Yep. Well, that's what I plan on building tonight. You know, I'm thinking three, four, five hours I'll have it finished. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna camp in my wiki up. Actually, no. What I do camp in is my portable motel. I take it with me everywhere. Let's go back down to the bike and let's go. Can't wait. See you guys in a bit. Nothing like warm water. You know, it's been just a beautiful ride through here. Um, it's all road like this, but I haven't seen nobody out here. But it is just beautiful. Kind of these rolling hills. And you're gonna get close to the border up here in a little bit. Get a sign. Well, we're 
veering off to the left. Anyway, so uh, I come out of Bowie a couple days ago. You know, I topped off the gas tank. Oh, <laughs> check it out. You got mailbox out here. Mail truck has to come here. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so I top off at Bowie and I get into Sierra Vista. Uh, you know, the uh, uh, Bisbee and Tombstone and all that. And um, so I figured I'd fuel up. I had 164 miles on the bike, and I figured I'd top it off before I hit the trail. And uh, so I figured I, I don't know how many miles I can do on this bike. I always claim two, 220. Uh, I guess I judge that by 50 miles a gallon. A thumper. The thumpers don't get as good good a mileage as some other bikes. But. Uh, you know, 50 miles a gallon, four gallon, and I got a four gallon IMS tank, and I figure 200 miles. I got a, I got one fuel bottle I'm carrying this time because I, I you normally know, carry two, but I never had to use either one of them. So, anyways, I don't know. I figured I'd top off, but I figured what I would do is see how much gas it took to fill it back up, so I would know some kind of a guess on what I can get. So, out of the four gallons. I uh, have only used two and a half gallons. So I had a gallon and a half of gas because when I topped it back off again, it took two and a half gallons. So it left me a gallon and a half in the tank. So at 164, it looks like I can get 60 miles a gallon. That would be 240. I don't know if this bike gets that good a mileage. But uh, it gives me a little more confidence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as I top off, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Get a better idea of what my range is. and uh, Because I get up around 170 and I start to be concerned. Because I don't know what it will do. Now the most I've done, yeah, 190 I think, uh, up in uh, Utah. But... Um, It'd be reassuring if I knew I'd get 240 or whatever. And I know that depends a little bit on terrain speed. But uh, anyways, we are uh, approaching the border up here. I will um, stop and get a drink of water at the border. Maybe pick up some illegals, you know. I don't know. Give them a ride. Hop on the back. We'll see. All right. Catch you later. Check out the blue sky. What a way to start my, my first day on the trail. I tell you, man, it's just beautiful out here. Check out this beautiful white fluffy cloud kind of following behind me. Hey, you know, I gotta enjoy it while I got it because in the next couple days, I'm gonna be tried to my limits. You guys are just gonna have to hang out and wait and see what happens. Oh, look at the size of that wall. <laughs> but they do have the barricades to keep vehicles from coming through, so it'd be kind of tough to get your truck through that. Uh, I, I don't see nobody. What the heck? I figured it would be correct, uh, crowded down here. Oh, uh, well. So anyways, it goes for a while, and... Uh, and as I start heading back up again, it it, uh, it goes to the red, which is a more technical, which I'm going to take. And uh, let's see. So it kind of goes a long way, and they connect again. So let's see how that goes. But we'll do a, a little ride along here, and then we'll uh, check out the, uh, the red. Come on, gloves. to see the Border Patrol Jeep.
Hey. Oh, come on, man. Wait for me. Wait for me. You guys are screwing around playing games here. Anyways, this is the red. You can see it's, uh, it's really nice, man. I got a lot of shady trees here. Ah, uh, it's not like not this not maintained it's just not maintained as well it's actually got signs as you can see up there so yeah, there's nothing wrong with it nothing technical i don't know what's in front of me let's take a look at the gps you guys are gonna go for a ride and you can see i'm not that far into it but uh, so maybe there's something else tricky up here if so I will make sure to share. Stop it. Bugs, leave me alone. Hey, hey. Oh, come on, you guys screwing with me. All right, we'll, we'll catch you later. Yeah, back on the blue line. Ah, let's open this visor. And, uh, yeah, it's no big deal. So you can see, it's just beautiful rolling hills. Well, that's where I came from, way back, way back there in those mountains. And I tell you, it's uh, it's really nice. Really enjoying myself. Now I don't know how far I'm going to get tonight. Um, I'm already hungry. <laughs> I'm going to lose weight. I I started off at 160. I'm going to drop 20 pounds. You watch. That's a lot of weight to drop. I hope not. But. Uh, yeah, sometimes I only eat once a day. Uh, not by choice, but I could bring snacks, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how, see how it works out. But tonight, I don't have a clue. I got several hours of riding. Very relaxing. Uh, I'm not worried about it, as long as I got water. And I do. So, uh, nothing new. I've done this, um, done this a lot, but I sure like it. I uh, really enjoy myself out here doing this, and I really like doing it solo. I, I know people like to group light or a couple guys, but uh, that's just not me, you know. I, I like the freedom to do what I want. Yeah, I'll screw up when I screw up and whatever. I, I I told you guys before my other rides. If I get lonely, I just talk to you. Well, guys, I'm telling you, I'm really enjoying this Arizona BAT BDR. And I ended up uh, hitting some pavement here and went to Sonota. And they had gas, and uh, I topped off. They had uh, some food, so I topped off <laughs> and refilled my water. And um, I am now here. So I'll probably get closer to, well, I'll probably, I don't know where I'll camp tonight. I'll get closer to the freeway. I might go further. I don't know. But um, we'll see. Anyways, it's, it's beautiful. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. You know, it's big bike friend friendly. It's nothing technical. Uh, but it's nice. It's comfortable. You can move along pretty quick. And it's uh, just beautiful. So a little update. We'll see where I end up camping tonight. Uh, it'll be interesting. I always enjoy picking up my camping spot, so we'll catch you later. Works for me. First uh, gate. 
coming through, no big deal. <laughs> well, hello there. Okay, let's see if I can lift it. <sighs> yeah, well. Or something. Uh, I can't. I can't push uphill. Okay. Oh. <sighs> 
Great time. Got to have some water. Let me pick it. Put the gear back on. So the uh, original uh, Arizona BDR route has been detoured. Uh, private property issues, so I am supposed to go back to the wash. <laughs> uh, the wash. I hate the wash. But supposedly, I had trouble with this. I, uh, I may have uh, taken a wrong route here. Uh, I'm not sure. This is very vague in its information. And uh, I would make sure you have a, a clear understanding of what this alternative route is. Um, there is several different uh, turnoffs and uh, no road signs. Uh, it gets confusing without uh, your internet service, uh, without um, your, now, now that you're off of your uh, GPS route, uh, you're kind of left out there. So maybe it's Gaia, uh, some other uh, app might be beneficial, but make sure you have an understanding before you attempt doing this. Where you came out of it, the new route goes over the sand wash and up the hill. So I should be able to shoot straight through the sand wash, straight across and up the hill. And then take a left at East Hilton Ranch Road. So we're going to go find out. Anyways, I'll turn around and I'll let you know what happens. Hey, good morning. It's um, Tuesday, 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, guys. I remember the last time I celebrated... Well, I don't remember 4th of July on 2021, but 2020 I was in Nevada. I remember that day. I remember everything I did that day. So, uh, anyways, what's going on? This is my little setup here. And uh, i tell you what happened. I, uh, I didn't do a video last night because it get a little late on me and I was uh, looking for a place to set up, so... We were just waiting to do it this morning. But uh, the detour thing, and I'll show you on the GPS as I've gone down through the wash. And, and, and talking about the wash, you guys on them big 1200 GSs, this is a great route until you hit the wash. <laughs> Hopefully you got two guys with you because you're going to be picking up your bike. Uh, it's not very long, but it's long enough to, uh, to give you a lot of problems. So anyways, uh, I, then I came up to the uh, the gate, the lock gate, the sign. So this is the detour here. Ah, coming that way and going that way. Now what it is, I've got uh, just a short distance to go down there and I should make a left turn on another, uh, another uh, uh, farm road. And... Um, that should take me and put me back on the trail. Oh, baby, stand up. Okay. But, uh, yeah, oh, why am I stopping here? Let's go look at the GPS. It's a nice little camp spot. I mean, uh, shaded in the morning somewhat, and uh, it's just really pretty out here. Let's take a look here real quick. So, I'm out in the middle of nowhere right now, and that's because I got off right where that is, that little point there, and this doesn't show detailed roads on. One thing bad about these GPS is they don't have, like your, your phone, if you go to Google Maps, you can zoom in, and I can actually see that I'm on a, a dirt road, and I can tell that the dirt road goes up another uh, it's not far, a couple thousand feet maybe, and it crosses another dirt road, dirt road which will take me to the left, and it ties back into the uh, Arizona BDR. So that's kind of where I'm at. But it got late last night, and I figured, well, you know, I was pretty beat up. I'm just going to set up the tent. And um, nice and peaceful last night. Got a lot of good sleep. Quiet. So today... Today, the stand is fighting with me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Today, I'm not sure where I'm going to get. Maybe up to Globe. I don't know if I'll get that far or not, but uh, it's been great so far. I can't complain about anything. Uh, I don't know how much further up to the freeway. Uh, there's uh, an area there with the lock gate you got to go through. 
not lock, it's a chain gate. You just unhook the chain, you get off onto the freeway. And uh, you'll see this right here. I'll, I'll show you this short clip. I crossed this on the way out here going down the freeway. So check that out. It's kind of noisy here, guys, but uh, we're going to stop and take a look. This is the um, <clears throat> the BDR, BAT coming through. Um, we're facing south right now, so in a couple days I'll be coming down. I'll be coming down this um, this road here to this gate. Now I walked over there, and the gate is uh, it's hooked. It's not locked, so um, you know you just open the gate and then close it when you're finished. And as you can see on the other side, you're on you're right on the freeway. So that's basically where I'll be coming out from and uh, crossing the freeway. And um, you know, from there, matter of fact, I cross the freeway, make a left, and I'm heading down to uh, Houghton, I think it's Houghton Road, but I may go down a little further, depending on my gas situation. Uh, I don't want to go to Benton, that's too far. Benson, I think. Yeah, Benson. So I, I might uh, head into the outer areas of uh, Tucson, I don't know, get some food, gas. We'll see where I'm at uh, when, I, when I get there. So yeah, this is my first night nice, first night camping, and I'm slurring my words. <laughs> Anyways, we'll catch you guys later. We'll see what happens. Um, if there's anything interesting on these roads, uh, I'm certainly going to stop, and uh, we'll uh, take a look at it together. <laughs> Taking a while, but I'll get them. Okay, uh, start, baby. Good old DRZ. Ooh, I left letter. <laughs> hey, you gotta have the mirror. You never know. I gotta go get my litter. Yeah, can't be leaving litter behind. The only thing I leave behind is my DNA samples. <laughs> and I leave plenty of those behind. Come on up here and jump in my pocket. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're in for some excitement today. Being that I don't have a clue what's going to happen. Come on, gloves. You guys just make it hard for me. Because my hands are so big. Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here.
I'm getting there. <clears throat> I'm getting there, except <laughs> I gotta climb that, I guess. I don't know if that's it, but. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting climb here. But I have no choice. Oh boy. Pick a line and go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't stay here. Okay, so these hills, again, here are a lot steeper than what you see on video. Holy cow. So you big bikes. <laughs> You gotta be pretty stinking good on your sneaking 1200 GS to do this crap. This is crazy. Wow. I just gotta go for it.